All right, guys, on today's episode of Globe Trotting with Trey, I'm going to the liquor mini marts for some beer and fine wine. Why? Well, you just got to wait and watch and see and don't double dribble because something really cool in Elvis's life. Really funny story happened inside those walls right there, that building. Stay tuned to find out about it. All right, so this is North Canyon Drive here in Palm Springs, California. I had to think about it for a second. Been all over the place. This used to be a place called the Germain Brothers Food and Liquor. And uh, well, one night Greg McDonald was with Elvis in the Stuts, that beautiful Stuts, and. Uh, he rode down here and Elvis wanted to get a, uh, some soda and uh, cigarellas before they headed back up to the Canyon um, Drive house. And uh, he said they parked in the front, which I assume perhaps right here. There's the door, the front. And uh, they go inside here like spa guys about to walk in. And they get their stuff and they're waiting in line to check out in here. And uh, well, Elvis's gun drops out of his, he had, you know, his track suits that he liked to wear. Uh, his gun dropped out of it, and it was a 357 Magnum, you know, the most powerful handgun in the world that would blow your head clean off. So you got to ask yourself a question. Do you feel lucky? But do you, punk? Well, that night, the lady that was working at the counter didn't feel lucky, and she thought that they were trying to rob her. And Greg had to, had to pick the gun up, put it on the counter, give them money. Elvis said, hey, man, I'll just go wait outside in the studs for all this. You know, people was, like, going crazy in there because of the gun. And uh, he thought it was the funniest thing in the world. So uh, they, they paid their money, got out there, came back to the Stuts, and Elvis is just laughing his head off. They get in the Stuts and head back to the Canyon home um, here. The story happened here. How cool is that? Do you tell them? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to give up. Did he tell you the story? Yeah. Pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. 357 Magnum. <laughs> most powerful handgun in the world. So guys, if you're in Palm Springs, come get you uh, some wine, get you some alcohol, some liquor, or get you some uh, sodas over here. Just like Elvis, I need a cigarello. That's what we need to buy, you know? We need a cigarello, I'm looking for one. See any? When Billy could get say spa guy likes his sparkling water right here. I don't like that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to see, man. It's so cool. Grocery Mart. We can put Elvis with a story. So yeah, I'm not seeing. Huh. Man, so I imagine it happened right here. Once upon a time. Crazy, right? A 357 Magnum drops on the ground. The cashier put their hands up thinking he was, she was gonna get robbed. <laughs> Love it. Oh, here we go. I don't see a cigarillo, but they do have some nice um, cigars there, right? And if they had a cigarilla, I would buy one. But yeah, guys, that story happened right there. No doubt about it. I'm going to read you the story from the book Elvis and the Colonel. This is Greg McDonald's memory of being with Elvis. And he said, one night in the early 1970s, Elvis asked me to take him to Jermaine Bros Liquor and Food to pick up some soda and a pack of cigarellos. Elvis let me drive his black studs, a rare automobile. When I pulled up to Jermaine's, there was one available spot to park, which was right in front. 
I drove up and slithered into the spot. Elvis was wearing a dark running suit, one of his huge belt buckles, an expensive gold chain draped around his neck, and aviator sunglasses. Elvis thought he was incognito, but that was ridiculous. How could he be? Our timing was good, as Jermaine was about to close. Elvis found what he needed, and we stood in line. As we were waiting, I noticed a big lump in Elvis's pants, which slowly made its way from his waist to his ankle. Suddenly, it dropped to the floor, making a loud clinking noise. Everybody stopped what they were doing to look at the 357 Magnum on the floor. Then they took two steps back. Cashier, a young lady, put her hands up as if she were going to be robbed. No, 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 I protested. This is Elvis, and his gun just fell out of his pants. Please don't shoot, she begged, putting her hands in the air. She obviously wasn't listening. This didn't go unnoticed by Elvis, who laughed hard. The cashier wouldn't put her hands down, so I picked up the gun and placed it on the counter to show her I wasn't going to use it. Or was she being robbed? Just then, I noticed another young lady in the back secretly whispering into the receiver of their phone. Elvis was now beside himself. Greg, I'm just going to go wait in the car outside, he said, a big smile on his face. Then I heard sirens in the distance and decided the best course of action was to leave some cash on the counter, take the gun back, and make a beeline toward the front door. When I got to the studs, Elvis was holding his sides. He was clearly enjoying this. Luckily, I pulled out of the parking lot and headed back to the Chino Canyon house without any fanfare. If the colonel ever found out, I feel certain he would have had me killed. That story is from the new book, Elvis and the Colonel. Pick up your copy in the link of the this description. I'm telling you, you'll enjoy this story about Elvis and Colonel Parker. Go get it and let them know Globe Trotting with Trey sent you. Maybe it was uh, a <laughs> you never know. J and M's. Yeah, mm -hmm. could have been. There's an old camera. Like so, just another old story. Happened there. Once upon a time. So, how'd you enjoy that story? If you enjoyed that one, I learned about it in this book, Elvis and the Colonel, Greg MacDonald, Marshall, great writer. I just, I highly recommend you guys getting that book. I read it in three days. You're going to learn some fascinating stories about Elvis and about Colonel Parker and learn about the real Colonel Parker. And uh, just go and read it with an open mind because you just learn one story. And I just brought it to life where the from the location that it happened. Yeah, I bet that was on the building back in the day. So this is the original building. Really cool Elvis story location, right? Hope you've enjoyed this. Might have to go give me some liquor. You know I don't drink. I might give me a cigarette in order to Elvis. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, just give me a like. Comment, share, don't double dribble, subscribe to Globe Trotting with Trey for new episodes on Elvis every Tuesday and special Trey on Tour episodes here and there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. That cool Elvis story happened here once upon a time.